Welcome to Tuesday Talk. Today we are doing sort of a part two from last week. Time did not allow me to do a couple thrift flip projects, but I shopped my own board and I came up with a couple things that we're going to work on this week. And there are some candle holders, which are some big candle holders that came from, um, I think, a, a florist that sent it to a funeral home, perhaps, because it was a memoriam. Um, and also, we're going to do a little, it was a jewelry holder birdcage, but we're going to flip it. And I'm not exactly sure whether we're just going to do decor with it or make it functional again for a jewelry holder. But either way, we're definitely going to update it. Jenna Wellborn had suggested the thrift flip idea from last week. And so this is, again, kind of a part two. So check out Jenna Junk Princess on social media. Next week, we won't have a Tuesday talk because I'll be getting ready. Actually, I'll be at the beach. So um, I might pop in and say hi, but I think I'm just going to take the day off. So I hope you enjoy the thrift flips today. These candlesticks are super heavy. Seriously, they're probably about 8 or 10 pounds each. And they were a memorial um, for someone who was 84 years old when she died. So um, she passed away in 1991, and obviously her family um, didn't keep that. So we're going to give it a little bit of a makeover. After cleaning it, I used a coat of Slick Stick. Slick Stick is a bonding primer from Dixie Belle. This smooth surface, if I added just paint to it, it would scratch right off. So this will allow it uh, to really bond and allow me to paint it and the paint will stay on. So now I am just going over it with a little 220 grit sanding sponge and that way I can get rid of any little lumps and bumps that are on there. The primer did a fantastic job filling in those words. I was going to use uh, some mud to fill it in, but that's not necessary. So meanwhile, our little bird cage, um, this was supposed to be a jewelry holder, so we're going to take off some of these little hooks that were for necklaces because some of them are missing. So we're just going to get rid of that part. And the bird's a little bit loose as well. So we're going to uh, put some glue on that. So I'm just using pliers to take off the little hooks and they come off relatively easily. Next, I add a drop of Gorilla Glue to the back side just to keep the bird from moving around. While that dries, I return to the candlesticks and begin to put some paint on. I'm using Weeping Willow, which is a new color from Dixie Belle in the Cottage Colors collection. I love this color, and as we all know, green is really having a moment right now, so um, green is everywhere, and this is just a gorgeous shade.
In between coats, I also sand. Sometimes you get a little bit of buildup of paint and we don't want that to show through on the second coat. After the paint dries, the last step is to take a little gilding wax in gold and just using my finger, I'm just going around some of the details on the candlestick. When that's all done, just gonna give it a spray with Rust-Oleum's 2X Spray Sealer and that will be it for that project. Back to the bird cage. I put it on a piece of Luan or quarter inch plywood and trace around the outline. And then I use my jigsaw to cut out the shape. I use the same Rust-Oleum 2X in Vintage Blush to spray the bird cage, and then I use the same Weeping Willow that I used for the candlesticks to paint the back of the bird cage or the, the piece of Luan. My helper Isabel is lining up the transfer and the bird cage to make sure it's centered properly before she applies it. This is her first time applying a transfer, and she's doing a fantastic job. Time for the big reveal. Almost done. And yes, it looks great. Isabel uses a 220 grit sanding sponge to just sand the, the transfer a little bit. It gives it more of a painted on appearance. So now she is putting glue around the outside edge. And I think this one turned out beautiful. I think pink and green look gorgeous together. And these two shades are just perfect. I love it. What do you think? Let me know what you think in the comments. And our candlesticks. I think they're going to be much better used than being in a box since 1991. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Visit us at LaVintageDecor.company. On Instagram, we're LaVintageDecor. And on Facebook, we're LaVintageDecor Altoona. Stay well.